Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Football is finally back. Let's get excited. Round one and oh, five months ago Geelong won the flag and it's gone so quick and I can't believe football's here. It's so, so exciting. Um, no matter how bad or good Geelong play, I'm just excited football's back. All right, so without further ado, let's get into our round one tips. Now I want to do this every week and let's get into it. So we got Richmond versus Carlton uh, at the MCG Thursday and two days away. So I'm going to go an upset here. Uh, I'm going to go Carlton by five points, even though Richmond will be the favorite. No doubt about that with all the uh, great players that they brought in. I just feel like Carlton, you know, it's their time to shine. And yeah, I'm going to go with a few upsets this round. See if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I don't know. With Charlie, Charlie Kerno, I was going to say Charlie Brown for a sec, but uh, and Harry Mackay, um, pretty sure they're both playing. I can't, you know, I'll wait until the teams are out and stuff before I make my actual uh, decision, pretty much. But, yeah, for now, I'm going to go with Carlton by five points, and I reckon I'll stick with that. All right, so we've got Friday night. I'm going to this game. Uh, I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. And I'm catching the train this time. No car. Geelong versus Collingwood. Oh, my heart says Collingwood. Actually, my head says Collingwood. My heart says Geelong. But since I'm a Geelong supporter, you always got to back your side in. And I'm going to back ourself in to win by six points. It's going to be a great game of football. No, obviously, no Jack Genevan and no Tom Hawkins for both sides. So, yeah, you could say it might sway towards uh, Collingwood. But with, you know, maybe... Ollie Henry kicking a bag against his old former club. That'd be a massive W if we got that. But, nah, I'm going to tip Geelong by six points. I reckon this is going to be probably one of the closest round of football we've had since probably the finals uh, last season. All right, so we've got North Melbourne versus West Coast. Now, I do want to... Uh, stream this game for you know why not because both of these teams the bottom of the ladder could be a close game and people tipping west uh not west coast tipping north melbourne to get it done but i reckon you know west coast could be on their way up maybe even though i pred predict them to what finish up maybe you have to find that out stay tuned and uh watch that video <laughs> no but i'm going to tip west coast to win with some of their veteran players coming back after injuries and that. So I just feel like they're going to be a more rounded team than North Melbourne. All right, so the next game is at Adelaide Oval. Now, with what I saw from Brisbane, I just expect them to obliterate uh, Port Adelaide, to be honest, by, I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to say about 32 points, I reckon. All right, so we've got the... Oh, I really wish I could attend this game. Melbourne versus... Western Bulldogs. This is going to be a cracking match. Oh, but I just feel like Melbourne are just going to be way too strong in the contests around the ball. And with their, you know, new rock duo, they're going to be a scary team to beat, that is for sure. So I'm going to tip Melbourne by... I don't want to do this, but I'm going to tip them by six goals. Um, Here we go. Heritage Bank Stadium, which is the old Metricon uh, ground now. Or Carrara, it still is. So we've got Gold Coast versus Sydney. Now, people are t tipping Sydney, but, you know, I'm going to go another upset here. I just feel like, especially up there, it could be greasy, could be, you know, not best conditions, and humid. So I am going to tip, even though it could be probably raining. I don't actually know. I haven't checked the weather. I don't care. <laughs> but I'm going to tip Gold Coast to win by uh, seven points it's gonna be a nail biter and two camillo to kick a the sealer hopefully that's on sports at odds um yeah we're responsible <laughs> so we got sunday the sunday matches so i'm gonna stream this game i think i am i can't remember uh the six, 16th place gws this is the 14th ah uh, that's obviously obviously incorrect now um oh giants or adelaide i reckon adelaide have a better young young team so i'm gonna tip adelaide to win by oh, three goals why not three goals exactly yeah i just feel like adelaide just have a better forward line especially with the new addition of uh, uh isaac rankin you know i reckon he's gonna kick a bag on whoever he plays against <laughs> you know, uh, i'm shocking this so we got hawthorne versus essendon now or oh, this could be a major great game of football that we have 
on a Sunday at the MCG, or it could be a shocker. People tipping Essendon, I don't know. I'm I'm just swaying towards Hawthorne a little bit more, especially with their you know new new players coming in. Cam McKenzie, you know he's pretty good at football, and he'll dominate I reckon around the ball. Um, I, I don't know. I just feel like Hawthorne are just a better 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 team on paper. It looks like on my end. All right, so we got St Kilda versus Fremantle. Now, people were tipping Fremantle, but I don't know. It's hard to tell, uh, but especially when they played against Port. And oh, Port did okay, but I just feel like St. Kilda, uh, you know, going to, especially with a new coach, Ross Lyon and that, and new coaching staff and probably game plan, maybe. Uh, I reckon St. Kilda is going to come out strong and absolutely not dominate, but, you know, show quite a bit of fight. And they'll win by four goals. So, yeah, there it is, my tips. Uh, I'm going to try and make it more and more entertaining as the year goes on. But leave your predictions down in the comments below. And, yeah, also join my tipping comp. I want to try and get at least uh, maybe 15 to 50 members. That'd be pretty pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this year. Plenty of vlogs, plenty more discussion videos, and a new segment coming next week. So, stay tuned for that. Anyways, that's the video. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day and peace.